Hey everybody, this is Melinda with Liberty Jane. Today I'm going to show you how to do the jewel in the middle braid using bias tubes. This braid gets its name from the fact that there's a single uh, strand of a different color that appears down the middle of the braid. In today's video, I'm going to use this braid as a substitute for the regular braided straps on the Liberty Jane Maxi dress, but you could substitute this braid for pretty much a normal braid anywhere. To do this really cute braid, you need four different pieces of fabric. These are bias strips about an inch wide by 12 inches long, and I'm going to sew them into tubes. You'll notice I have three of this denim color and then one of this teal blue. This is going to be my accent strip that runs down the middle of the braid. To turn your bias strip into a tube, fold it in half with the right sides together, and then stitch a shy quarter inch away from the folded edge. Cut off the extra seam allowance right next to the stitching. You want to leave about an eighth of an inch of seam allowance. Cut a tiny snip into one end of the tube. Then slide a bobby pin into the tube, making sure that half of it goes on the outside originally and then goes into that slit you just cut. Work the bobby pin down through the tube to begin turning the tube right side out. When you finish turning the tube, give it a gentle press with an iron. Once you have your bias strips all sewn, lay them out, color, color, accent, color, then squish them together and sew them at the top edge. Anchor your braid by taping the top ends securely to your work surface. Then take the leftmost strand, pass it over the next strand, and under the accent strand. Take the right strand, then go under and over. Over, under, under, over. Keep braiding until you reach the end of your strips. Stitch across the lower end of your braid to keep all of the ends together and then clip off any extra. Give your braid a good press and then you're ready to start putting it into whatever project you want. As a quick reminder, don't forget to sew across the braid on both sides before you cut it. This will keep it from unraveling and make your life a lot simpler. Once you have your straps cut, go ahead and finish putting the dress together following the instructions in the pattern guidebook. And here is the completed braid used as the straps for the Liberty Jane Maxi dress. There are lots of places you can use this braid, so just use your creativity and have fun. And as always, thanks for joining me today.